Hello, Chickpea Nation. My belly is full of chickpeas right now because Chickpea Father has fed me many a chickpea today. We started the day off with a chickpea scramble. And for dinner, we had tacos. And I swear, even if they weren't chickpeas, they were some version of chickpeas. Because all he knows how to do is make chickpeas. There's raining, snowing chickpeas everywhere. Day two. What's for breakfast? Well... We got a tofu scramble coming up. Tofu scramble. Oh, I only have one more can of chickpeas. I don't really feel like chickpea scramble today because I eat that every other day. Time to get them uh, on and make some tofu scramble. Are you excited? Yep. Just like the Tennessee Titans. There's some Chinese broccoli. You gotta boil the sweet potatoes first because they take forever to fry and nobody likes a crunchy sweet potato. What? There's broccoli. <laughs> I got broccoli. That's real broccoli. This is real broccoli. You got frozen broccoli. The frozen broccoli is your ice pack. Oh yeah, we had a little broccoli occurrence last night. Oh, Daddy, you left the broccoli. You left the broccoli up in your loft. I don't know where the broccoli is. Where is the broccoli? Broccoli. Just eat it for dinner. Just eat the broccoli for dinner. You are not satisfied with my dinner, my tacos I made for you. You want to eat the broccoli. Don't throw the broccoli. No, 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 no. No! The broccoli is now broken! Broccoli! That was kind of fun. I gotta tell you guys how to make it, or the general idea of making a chickpea or tofu scramble. You can saute whatever vegetables you want. So like sweet potato, you can fry those up. You get some onions or whatever. But this is the most important part. This works with chickpeas or tofu, tempeh, whatever you want to do it with. You uh, throw it in a bowl, you mash it all up, and then you add turmeric, ginger, cumin. Those are your big three. Those are the most important things to put on there, but then you can add things like nutritional yeast, AKA nooch, garlic, um, some hot sauce, oil. Just basically make uh, whatever assortment of spices you like. And at the very end, you throw it in with everything, saute it up, throw it in a little uh, tortilla, make a breakfast taco. It's your kind of vegan breakfast, the more you know. First thing you gotta think about with your first car is the short term is think that you're only gonna have it for one or two years and not spend am, a whole lot of money on it. Get, it, get a car short. that's not perfect, that's gonna be lower cost in insurance, that you don't mind if you something happened to it. Something that you can afford and it's not to, so you don't owe any money on it. Short term. I'll pay five to ten thousand dollars. With your lifestyle, there are gonna be a lot of short term cars. It's, so it's two thousand seven, right? Two thousand seven below. That's like two thousand seven is the latest I should get for insurance purposes, right? I don't know about that. Probably. An older I mean, car an older car is not gonna have as much value. What if it's something got, that you don't have to get collision on. What if I got like a two thousand six Toyota four run? Be nice, but, but at, for like ten thousand dollars. I would look for a really nice Forerunner or a nice Subaru in the early two thousands or late nineteen nineties. Something that's been kept together really well. It's really nice. That's fun to drive. It looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a want, that's sort of a classic type of car. I don't want anything older than two thousand three. Something that's been, I don't want anything older than two thousand three unless it's older than nineteen. Something that can drive that can make it to California. So you're going to need something that's under a hundred. 50,000 miles from now.